topic of like hinging versus wedging, I just want to talk about uh, some common errors and misconceptions um, that you see with those two concepts in sumo deadlifts. Um, pretty much what you'll see with people who wedge is they'll grab the bar, they drive their hips really pro close to the bar, so now they're very upright and it's more leg pressy or squatty, you could say. And from here, the, they'll drive up and your knees will extend really fast. Now, one of two things happen. You're just stuck here because the weight's too heavy and you can't lock your knees. Or you lock your knees and now you're pulled forward by the bar and you can't extend your glutes through the lockout. Which is why you'll see a lot of people who work very hard into a very upright position. You'll see them pull, it comes off the floor pretty quick, their knees come to lockout pretty quick, then they're stuck here and they're fighting to get it all the way up. So that's one issue with wedging. Um, ideally, what you want to think about is some balance between hinging and wedging. Try to get the best of both worlds. In most scenarios, um, being able to utilize both of those things will benefit you greatly, um, especially in your bottom end position. And the thing that's very crucial to think about while we're on the topic of bottom end positioning and wedging is in a sumo deadlift, it is very punishing to lose your bottom. If your bottom end positioning is here, right? We want to do everything we can to maintain the same position that you start with because if you get issues like hip rise or you're not locking your knees out and then being able to like drive your hips forward because you're wedging too hard, that all stems because of how you started from the bottom. If your hips rise, now you're fighting an RDL the entire time. And that's just straight brute strength versus using mechanics and uh, muscle and logic. Um, and then on the flip side of that, wedging really hard will cause your hips to be in a disadvantaged position by wedging, you wedge all the way in. Now, I have a really hard time engaging my hamstrings and my glutes um, from this position. Um, versus if you hinge, more so like an RDL, so to speak, your positioning from here allows you to engage your posterior chain more. Hamstrings, glutes, low mid-back, um, in, in an effort to stabilize your bottom end. The goal with hinging is to load the weight. I guess I should say, when you're learning to hinge, what you want to do is think about trying to keep your shins vertical at first and driving your hips back and placing more of your weight onto the heel of your foot. Those things in combination with one another will allow you to activate your posterior chain more. And the reason that that is a good thing is because if your posterior chain is engaged at the bottom of your position on your deadlift, you'll have an easier time staying in that position the entire time. So you don't end up in the awkward, I'm here, how do I finish position. Um, so it's important to understand how to hinge so that you can turn on your posterior chain and benefit by using those muscles at the bottom end so you can maintain your bottom position as you extend through. Um, but it's also important to understand how to wedge yourself so that you can take advantage of other things. Wedging helps with keeping your hips close to the bar. It helps with driving your knees forward. So by being in a positive chin angle, I can activate my quad more. I can use my legs to try, try to press off the floor. Um, but being biased in either direction will ultimately at the top end cost you extra pounds. So if you get to like a 500 and you're like someone who's very wedge biased, you'll get stuck here when you get to like 520. So you could have hit the 520 but because you were wedged all the way under and didn't have your posterior chain on, lost your bottom end position, you got to here, and now there's no finish. Because you're relying on purely just your glutes and low back to try to extend through. And relying on just two muscles under high load is damn near impossible. 